Why are you watching that? I'm just looking to see if there's anything left of your speech. It's not important. I remember everything I said. And? It was good. It just would have meant more coming from me. <laughs> Is that your dad? It is. I've only seen pictures of him. I know we're down. By a lot. But if I'm being honest with you, we're probably not going to win this one. In fact, we're definitely not going to win this one. <laughs> do you want me to turn it off? We're not going to quit, either. And if we do lose, you need to know that doesn't make you losers. You learn as much about who you are and what you're made of from failing as you do from success. Maybe more. So you can spend the next half feeling sorry for yourselves, or you can get out there and give them hell. Yeah, let's give them hell. Watch your mouth, your mommy. <laughs> I remember that game. Did they win? Oh, no. No, they lost so bad, the other team let one of their cheerleaders try to kick a field goal. Well, that was a nice speech. Too bad it didn't work. Maybe it did. What do you mean? I've been acting like the game is over, but it's only halftime. And there's a lot more physics left to play. Wow, was that your first ever sports metaphor? <laughs> it was. <laughs> And I think it was a home run. <laughs> That's two. <laughs> it's interesting. I've always thought that my father's journey and my own were so different, but he also faced failure and setbacks. Maybe our lives mirrored each other more than I thought. So, from one viewpoint, you and your father's lives are asymmetrical. But from another vantage point, they're symmetrical. Sheldon, what if symmetry and asymmetry are observer relative? That would mean that the Russian paper was right. But only from one perspective. If we look at it from a deeper view in more dimensions, our theory still stands. Not only stands, it, it might be an even bigger idea than the one we were originally proposing. Go get your laptop. We have a paper to fix. Okay. Thanks, Dad. <laughs>